Morning, fellas. Guess who's back? Hello, everybody. I'm back. <laughs> Where you been, Tom? In Alaska, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so, no, I just got back, but I'm happy to be home and had a blast. So, it was an awesome trip. Sweet. Yeah, um, Johnny is a guide, and Tom went back there to be the packer and I guess spotter and everything else, too, kind of, huh? Yep. So How was that? that I should, was, do you have pictures? I have pictures. Yeah. I'll insert a couple pictures. I'll yeah. have you send me some. I'll put them in the video right here. You can check it out and see some of the stuff that the, the clients shot is pretty awesome. So anyways, we're out here on one more dove hunt. Hopefully I have some more for you guys when I get back. But today I'm leaving for Nebraska to go with High Prairie Sportsman. So anyways, got Rocky in the back. Unfortunately, it breaks my heart. I don't get to take Rocky on this trip. I'm like bad father i literally tr i've called so many airlines i just it just couldn't get it to work out and i i didn't care what the cost was but anyways it just ain't gonna work out some kind of bummed but anyways we're gonna hopefully get some work on them here at a friend's house and already already seen some doves dropping in thank you so much for giving that last dove hunting video thumbs up for thomas to grow his beard out we're at like 330 which i said 300 but then after that i did say 500 so thomas is arguing with me now that he doesn't have to do it until it hits 500. So he's being he's being a stinking. But you said 300 originally. That's so what I said. I, I said don't. what I said originally. So if you haven't seen that video yet, just saying you don't have nobody has to go back because he can't like it twice. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll pop it up right here. Go hit the thumbs up if you haven't seen that video yet. Then come back and finish this video. All right. So we got the 360 solo blind out. We're gonna have Rocky out there. And it's going to be nice, basically, you can kind of wear whatever you want, just like if you were hunting out of an A-frame. We're going to go set it up in wherever Talon thinks is best, kind of in a corner or something. And then uh, we should be good, have the mojo out there, and hopefully whack some doves. So, let's go. Well, Caleb, I wish you were here. You're probably going to be mad. The one time we come out here, he's not here. Caleb, which is the one they flipped over in the truck, him and Talon, last duck season. He's in Montana right now, so you guys have seen him on on the channel before. Maybe when I get back from uh, Nebraska till till hunting. By the way, keep your eyes peeled, guys. I'm gonna actually start recording that journey today. Start putting those videos up. Oh, you know what? I did want to put out, guys. One of the er, man. There's a ton of does back here. Ooh, we might do good, guys. I don't know if I brought enough shells. <laughs> What's the limit? 15? Dude, look, 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 look. We gotta hurry and get out there. Anyways. This dude is the duck hunting chef. The podcast just dropped today. Go check it out on iTunes, The MVM Show. I'm telling you, the guy is a legit chef. His name's Hank Shaw. If you, if you haven't heard of him, you need to. Go check out his book on Amazon, Duck Duck Goose. I'll pop it up on the screen. I'm telling you it's the best money we'll ever spend. Guy go, he got, it's awesome. All I gotta say is you need to go listen to the podcast. It's episode number 29. Go check it out. It just dropped today, and let's kill some doves. Oh my God! Down, down, down. Nice, two of them. Sit here, here, Rocky. Sorry. No, I was letting you know. I wasn't ready. Here, here, here. Good shot, down. Sit, sit. Dead bird. Back. Ah, oh, I forgot my whistle. Hey, I forgot my dumb whistle, dude. You have no clue. I'm an idiot. I can't believe I forgot my stupid whistle. That just ruined it. I'm gonna have to have him sit on the outside. I can't believe I forgot my stupid whistle. <whistles> hey, hey, there you go, bud. Get him. There you go, good boy. Here, fetch him up. Dude, what kind of dog guy forgets his whistle? Here, good boy, good boy. Here. Good boy. Heel. Sorry, bud. I got my whistle. Sit. Leave. Leave. Here. Dead bird. Sit. Sit. Dead bird. See him right there? Back. There you go. Good boy. He forgot his whistle, people. Ah, what an idiot. Good boy. <laughs> leave. That one did. I'm going to leave him on the outside so he can see when they fall. Take the one on the left. Sit. I'll take that front. Got him. 
Say, hey, hey, get down, get down, get down. There's a duck coming right there. Sit. Sit. Sit, Rocky. Take it, take it, take it. Nice. Rocky. Good job. I think he was right in my face. <laughs> Good boy here. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Leave. I don't know what to say about this excursion. <laughs> I just looked down my shells. So what happened was, is from Fresno all the way to Sacramento, everywhere is sold out of still shot for Upland. So basically, this morning I brought out my three inch, what I thought was four shot. And you don't want to know what brand it was. <laughs> <laughs> Something that's way too expensive to be shooting at doves, but I had it left over from duck season last year, so I thought, well, <clears throat> that's all I got. That's the only still shot I got. You can't go anywhere and buy it. They're sold out everywhere here in California. It's got to be... FX. <laughs> <laughs> so, little did I know it was three inch, two shot. So I'm actually glad I have not connected with anything of these doves because I'm pretty sure there won't be nothing left. Talon's made some good shots, um, and I'm a stinking idiot for a duck dog owner. I don't know how you do this, but I walked out with my stinking whistle. I got the e-collar on him, no control. I mean, like, I'm an idiot. So I'm sitting on birds that he's not seeing falling because he's inside this 360 blind, and he goes on a straight line all the way till he can't go no more, and I'm like, well, he's doing what he's supposed to do, but I can't whistle stop him and send him where he needs to go. So, so. It hasn't been a super consistent flight. It's been kind of slow actually this morning. No, but I mean, we've shot. <laughs> a few, yeah, shot a little bit. We both hit a, uh, the same pigeon and, and feathers blew off of him. I think that's on the shot cam. I'll show you if it is. It was kind of up there. Yeah, it was it's a little bit, but. 40 yards. Probably. He was just passing. Uh, yeah. But those other birds were landing on the ground and I just felt guilty. I was like, I can't shoot him. <laughs> I like did not want to shoot him, so. There wouldn't have been much left of them, so. I know you're not getting much footage because uh, one of them, I messed up on the GoPro. I turned the beeper off. And so I thought I was recording wasn't on a couple of them, so oh well. I think, how many do you got, Talon? I got three. And I got two. I think it's about over. We're going to leave in about five minutes, so sorry it wasn't a ton of action. But uh, anyways, guys, don't forget to go check that podcast out. I'm telling you, I'm hungry just thinking about it. Boy, Rocky boy, Dad, why aren't you taking me? Why aren't you taking me with you? Gonna make Matt go get all the birds for. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, guys, that we're gonna wrap it up there, I guess. Um, fun. Hey, come out, shoot five birds. Should have probably had how many more? Maybe four or five Maybe, more. Yeah, four or five more. I'm, I'm just gonna blame on it being a two shot, but it's not. It's just I just wasn't shooting that good this morning. But they were coming in too fast and close. That was the problem. Dude, some of them they landed on the ground right in front of us. And I just think I didn't have the heart to shoot. I was like, there ain't gonna be nothing literally left. And we had two two good flocks come in, and then yeah, we just we just didn't yeah, it was just random. Yeah. This is no big deal. It was better than sitting at home and twiddling thumbs. <laughs> Actually, I probably should be home because I need to pack. I'm Maybe leaving. Later. What time is it? I'm not for sure. 8 30 and i'm leaving in six hours okay i'm leaving six hours that's good what so sorry, nothing packed what a sorry bum he's leaving us he's leaving us leaving us california oh, hey i wanted you to go but talon's got to leave again he's going to wyoming to help guide and pack and in what three days uh thursday oh, oh thursday so, so the 12th five days or something yeah. like that so anyways good wish him good luck on that and Guys, the next video is you see Tail Smackdown. I'll be sitting on the mountain watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next time.